so good morning students in this video we will learn about the classification of plant kingdom okay so here at the top it is written the name of this kingdom it is written plant here you can see so plant kingdom this plant kingdom is primarily divided into two sub kingdoms one is called cryptogams okay that means non flowering plants and another is known as phenerogams or spermatophyta that means flowering plants now these sub kingdom cryptogams or non flowering plants are further divided into is further divided into three divisions is further divided into three main divisions and these divisions are thallophyta bryophyta and pteridophyta okay now if we talk about the thallophyta here it includes all algae for example chlamydomonas volvox etc thallophytes are autotrophic as they contain chlorophyll they have a thallus like body and thus we call them as thallophyta and in case of them the plant body cannot be distinguished into roots stem or leaves and they are primarily aquatic now these thallophyta further further divided into these four phyla like Strizophyta, algae, fungi, and lichens. Okay. Now next is bryophyta. Bryophyta. <clears throat> the main features of this bryophyta division are plants belonging to this group have a plant body. So now we are in the point bryophyta here few examples i have written rixia marchantia moss so these are few plants under this division okay so plants belonging to this group have a plant body that has false root like structures called rhizoids and leaf like structures and they are also autotrophs actually actually for the kingdom planty feature the common features of all these of under, of under this kingdom planty and the common features are they are multi organism karyotic organism karyotic organism and they all can form their own food with the help of photosynthesis process that means they are all autotrophs okay so next is pteridophyta having same kind of feature that means they also they can also form the food they are autotrophs so thallophyta bryophyta pteridophyta gymnosperm angiosperm all the plants all kind of plants they can form their own food because that is the common feature of the plant kingdom okay so now this pteridophyta it includes all ferns so there is one example is given the scientific name is given nephrolepis that is one fern scientific name of one fern the main features are plants belonging to this group have a plant body that can be distinguished into root stem and leaves the leaves are often made of leaflets bearing spores on the underside and they are non flowering plants so these three thallophyta bryophyta pteridophyta these three divisions of the plant they are under this sub kingdom cryptogam under this subdivision under this sub kingdom cryptogam okay now next we will talk about the phenerogams that is the phenerogams or spermatophyta which is divided into two main divisions one is gymnosperm and another is angiosperm gymnosperm for example cyca spinas these plants under this division gymnosperm and plants belonging to this group i am talking about now gymnosperm the plants belonging to this group bear naked seeds 
that means the seeds are not enclosed in fruits and gymnosperm bear seeds in structures called cones c o n e s cones and they bear both male and female cones containing pollen and ovules respectively okay and here uh, this gymnosperm uh, there are two main types are there in the gymnosperm one is cycads and the is conifers now next move to the angiosperm for this angiosperm that means this one uh, all kind of flowering plants the phenorogams and spermato spermatophyta here the plants belonging to this group plants belonging to this group angiosperm have a highly developed plant body which can be differentiated into root stem leaves flowers and fruits and the seeds are enclosed in a fruit and they are further divided into mono uh, dicots and monocots so these dicots the main feature the plants belonging to this group bear seeds with two cotyledons the leaves have reticulate venation and a tap root system so these are some features of this dicotyledonous plants this is the name of the class of this angiosperm division for example sunflower and the other examples are pea potato apple rose so these are some example of this dicot or dicotyledon plants monocotyledons the plants belonging to this group monocotyledon bear seeds having only one cotyledon and the leaves have parallel venation and the root system is fibrous for example maize and the other examples are rice grass etc so this is about the plant kingdom or planty kingdom classification for all kind of plants the main features some features are very common multicellular eukaryotic and autotrophs autotrophic which i have already mentioned that means they are made up of many cells they all have chlorophyll and they make their own food by the process of photosynthesis and thus we call them autotrophs that means self nourishing organism so this is about the classification of the plant kingdom hope you understand and like the video thank you